And it's been such a long time since I made one of these videos. Please bear with me. I know it's been a while. I know my beard is longer, but uh, I promise to do better. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna we're gonna review this book that I have for a while now. But uh, as things got crazy, um, I can explain at the end of the video. Uh, for those who are just here for the review, I will just keep it very simple. Uh, this is the special or premium or whatever version of Horizon Forbidden West. It came in a slipcase. It's really nice. I took off the plastic wrap already. I haven't really looked into it. I haven't looked at it at all. Not really. Just I haven't. Um, let's just go right in there and we can chat a bit about this book because I feel like there's quite a few things to discuss. It came in a slip case um, that is beautiful and golden. Um, really cool design uh, by Dark Horse. And this book is not just a book in the slip case. It comes apparently with with a print, I suppose. Yes, this paper reminds me very much on the one that was used for Diablo. It's again, this holographic pearl like thing, right? So I used a similar paper in another project. Um, seeing it again, like, did they also do the book for Diablo? I'm not sure. I gotta check. Um, but it's the same paper, I believe. It very much looks like it. So we have some gold cut here. Official licensed product. Okay. So we have the book, but we also have this little folder. And in this folder, yes, as expected, are prints, which have a dent here. And it's, oh my God, come on guys. <laughs> yeah. Great, I guess, I don't know. Um, yeah, it comes in this nice little folder. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a thing. Let's talk about the book because this already looks pretty well made. Um, with this finish. Oh, it's the it's the, the crack of a new fresh book. The Art of Horizon Forbidden West. Played the game, played through the story. I haven't played the DLC yet. The games I have to keep up with right now are some. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope that in this book they are actually crediting the artists properly on the, each image, on each page. On this one already they don't. Maybe there's a reason for that. Okay. No. No, there are no credits right now. Okay. They don't tell us who made the artwork. Is this some new trend for real? Like, why not? Because there's no space or because there can be too many errors doing it? I might sound a bit pissed and that the reason is because I am. I don't like that at all. If I'm like, is that the reason? If I'm gonna be like, oh my God, this artist is amazing as a company, then I, do they, do they not want them to be hired or something? Like, what's the problem here? What am I missing? 
Because obviously this is this is great stuff. Not sure if I like this image thing here, but anyway, it's it's good stuff. It's a good book. And the artwork in it is really good, as expected. It is really good. But They have some texts here, and Ilya, for example, is credited here. But here there is no explanation at all. Still no credit. Nope. Okay, so we established that. We established that this book doesn't have any credits on the page where the artwork is. I am not happy about it, and I probably might mention it once or twice again. But I won't now. Let's just continue with the book. It's um, unfortunate. Dune Hollow. The level design in the game was really cool. Like, I was super happy with everything. Um, I'm not a fan of snow levels or uh, desert levels, but even these were made really well. And I loved this one. Like, the whole water in the pool thing in this uh in in, in, in this uh construction and this the structure it was it was pretty cool i enjoyed it not too much text i like that i like that a lot actually I understand that this is something that people are going for when they want to know about this. What I would like to know is for everybody, everyone who has the regular edition. Oh, this is a gluey page. Okay. Uh, for everyone who has the wow, who has the regular edition, is it just the same book? Is there any difference from the inside of it? Because I don't know. Uh, with Diablo, there were quite a few comments that were asking for something like that, but. I simply have no idea how to go about this one. Um, I don't have the regular edition, so I can't really tell you if the content is the same, but I'm sure that uh, one of the people checking this video out will eventually get the book, maybe the standard edition of this one, and let us know, hopefully. Please let us know. Yeah, I haven't played any <laughs> I haven't played any games so far because I'm stuck with um, I'm very much stuck with Baldur's Gate 3 um, which is an amazing game I, I I played the the first ones when they came out which is something like I don't know like 25 years ago or something yes I'm old and now returning to the city and returning to some of these characters is really really cool but at the same time it just is a great game standing alone as it is right there. And the narrative has been amazing. The characters are just absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm already thinking about my second playthrough. And I'm sorry that I'm talking about a different game right now than the one that we're looking at right now here. <laughs> but um, the reason why I'm doing this is that I'm just trying to let you know. I have so many games I have to catch up with because I'm stuck with Baldur's Gate. I haven't played the DLC of this one yet. I haven't played Spider-Man 2. I haven't played... Uh, I haven't even finished um, the Valhalla um, DLC thing with the with the uh, giants. With was it was it Sutur or something? Um, I haven't played any of that. So I haven't played Mirage as well. I always want to start now Cyberpunk. I really have to get the cyberpunk book and look into that one. I haven't played any of that, that's what I'm trying to tell. So I'm looking forward to The Burning Shores um, because this game here was was already so much fun. And this culture in particular, I, I really loved. I'm curious to see more of that in the DLC. Yeah, I hope you feel the same way. Let me know how you like the DLC actually. I I could use some pointers. This was great. This I really, really loved. And the way that I see it, it's not enough concept art about this one because you could feel, I would be interested in an entire book just about this here. 
That will be absolutely interesting. I want to see more of that. Yeah. And the suit designs and all that was... I loved it. I love how they made it, made it just all about the face, like everything else was protected, like it was some kind of symbiosis with the, with the clothing. I found that very inspiring. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah, this design was also amazing. Yeah, it's already over. We already reached the end. Acknowledgements. Oh yeah, cool. So here's the art team. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably up to us to figure out who made the art, which art and everything. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Um, please do it differently. So many names that I recognize here. And I would have loved to actually be like, oh my God, this is from this guy and this is from this guy and I can't do any of that because, because they didn't do it. They, it's a great book, it's, it's, it's really nice, but none of the things that I um, didn't like about the Diablo book were fixed here. Um, and of course, why would they? Uh, nobody asked me for anything anyway, but I am not happy. It is, a, it is an amazing book. A lot of work went into it, apparently. But the thing that I would have loved the most isn't done. Um, I'm not sure how important things like these are for you. For me, this is very important. Uh, also, from the perspective of someone who is making books with artists, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that this could be potentially fixed in future uh, books. Um, this I didn't like. Anyhow, the design of the book is really good. Um, this is this is not so good in terms of fabrication. Um, could probably be better. I'm not sure where people from Dark Horse are producing these books. My guess is China, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. A really cool book. You actually should get your hands on it. If you're interested in, in good art and if you like the game, then this is for you. I didn't really talk about what's going on in, in my life. Um, and I'm not gonna because um, I'm probably gonna stretch this out to another video or make a different approach because right now I'm reworking uh, my Patreon um, to create something more cohesive. And I'm working on a course about making art books and uh, doing Kickstarter campaigns. So all of that, everything that has to do with that and my Discord server and and all that stuff that I'm building right now will find its home on Patreon because Patreon did a couple of updates that I really liked about that page. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, it should it should unroll on in January, I believe. That's that's the, the goal that I set for myself. But uh, yeah, so much about this book and so much about uh, what I'm doing right now. And uh, it took a bit to put this video together. I'm going to record one right away uh, just to be sure that I am not postponing <laughs> things again. But uh, the next one I'm going to talk uh, to you about is the uh, anniversary book uh, of Assassin's Creed. Uh, something I really am looking forward to check out because this is right there, I believe. And uh, <laughs> I can't wait. And there are a couple more books, and there are a couple, of, uh, couple, of, a couple more magazines that I wanted to uh, to look into. And uh, I decided that the magazine content will go on Patreon, um, the flip flip throughs, and uh, beautiful, bizarre Imagine FX. And I think I have another one. I'm not sure, but uh, looking forward to that. Thank you for watching, um, and until next time, bye bye.